In the Bengals' last game, Joe Mixon had one of the best games in franchise history, 221 total yards and a team record five touchdowns. And that got us thinking about this topic for our Who Day conversation, the best individual performance we've ever seen by a Bengals player. We couldn't choose Corey Dillon's 278-yard rushing performance because that would have been too obvious. So, Lap, you get us started. I'm going back to October 6th of 1974. My rookie year, we had a player by the name of Leapin' Lamar Parrish. This guy was unbelievable, not only in the backfield as a defensive back, but as a returner. He scored two non-offensive touchdowns in the same game that day against Sonny Jorgensen and the Washington Redskins. It was unbelievable. He picked up a fumble, went 47 yards for a touchdown. They kick a high hanging punt, 93 yard touchdown on the punt return. I'm like, well, I guess it was a good play. Quicker than Hiccup. One of those guys, if you're playing tag in a phone booth, you're it forever. All right, Butch, you're up next. Lap, almost the same day, different year, October 7th, 1990. Three Bengals icons come together in Los Angeles. So it's the kind of week where Norman Julius Esiason was on the Tomorrow Show today and the Today Show tomorrow. Boomer Esiason did not have his leading receiver, Eddie Brown. No problem. Tim McGee, 142 yards. He's actually a wide receiver. They moved Rodney Holman to wide receiver. He had 161 yards. James Brooks, the running back, had 109 yards. Three 100-yard receivers, quite a performance on and off the field by, as Lap would call him, the blonde bombshell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm turning the clock back to two days before Christmas 2012 and a game I think we'll all agree is the most physical game we have ever seen. The Bengals beat the Steelers 13 to 10. They clinched a playoff spot with that victory. Pro Football Focus credited Geno with four sacks that day as he had the most dominant performance by a defensive player I have ever witnessed. And my broadcast partner, Dave Lapham, was so impressed by Geno that day that he serenaded him on the post-game show. Will you join me, Butch? I certainly will. Geno Atkins, Geno Atkins. It was an incredible performance. One of three we reminisced about today in this Who Day Conversation.